Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity, and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course, the law of attraction. I am coming to you today because I have received a major download for many Divine Feminines who are tuned in to this channel. Now, with that being said, do keep in mind that this message will not resonate for everyone. And it's funny, just as I started speaking, I don't know if the microphone picked it up, but I could hear a kind of an engine revving in the distance. And I feel that's a sign of confirmation. Something is revving up in your life and you feel this energetically. So as I was saying, this won't necessarily be for everyone, but if this message is for you, then you know who you are and you will feel a kind of resonance with these messages because this is really your spirit team, your spirit guides trying to get through to you with a message. So I'm going to start by shuffling the energy oracle cards deck, but before I do, be sure that you are subscribed to this channel because by subscribing, this does allow me to pick up more easily on your energy and the energy of your current situation as well as in future videos as well. When you are subscribed to this channel, I'm actually able to channel more clearly for you, not only now, but also moving into the future. So right away, the first card to fly out here for you, beautiful divine feminine, is this door to value card in the upright position. So immediately, I'm hearing your spirit guide say, the more that you see and connect in with your true value and worth, the more you amplify your manifestation power. And so because of this, because you are truly beginning to see and tap into your own value, I'm hearing don't believe the lies that other people told you when they tried to convince you that your gifts weren't valuable, that your passions were just hobbies and would never be able to support you in the physical material world. These were all lies that were subconsciously programmed into you, Divine Feminine, but the illusions are being lifted. That programming is being very deeply released from your being and you are connecting with that value and worth. And the more you see your own worth and value, I am literally seeing this graph where it's like, the more that you see your value, the more the line on the graph skyrockets and you are able to manifest more into your life, into your reality, you amplify your energy, your manifestation power when it comes to money, to success, to material things, whatever it is you desire in life can be yours and you amplify this power by simply connecting in with it internally. And the beautiful thing is you are learning how to do this even if at times you are hard on yourself because I am picking up on a divine feminine who may be a bit hard on herself when it comes to this sometimes. And also this door to value card very notably is sitting on the heart center. So what this tells me is the way that you are going to be manifesting whatever you personally define as success, material abundance, wealth, moving into the future, this is going to be a heart-centered, a soul-centered manifestation, meaning you are going to be capable of manifesting these facets of material stability and what we think of as material freedom, stability, security, through doing something that you feel passionate about, that your soul feels on fire for. Wow, very, very beautiful messages coming through. And the theme of this reading and what I felt initially is that everything I'm about to share with you and have been sharing with you, Divine Feminine, in this video, I'm not telling you anything new. 
This is something that you've been feeling, that you've been sensing, and I'm hearing looking for a sign. So there may be someone here who has literally been looking for a sign. The word tears came out from the love word scramble, and also the word classroom and label, if that connects with anyone. With the word label, I heard record label. So there could be someone who is, is a musician or an artist, but also rest and rejuvenation reversed came out. So I see within you divine feminine, this kind of conflicting energy, right? Because on the one hand, you are receiving these massive intuitive downloads about your purpose and you are feeling these shifts happening within you as you connect with that internal worth and value. But at times you still feel this sense of confusion because you may not be fully seeing this show up for you on the physical plane yet. And I'm hearing, give it time. You are that seed that has been planted in the earth or that idea, that dream you have is like that seed and it is multiplying. It is growing the fastest when other people, even yourself included, cannot physically see it. But you have to trust that knowing divine feminine that you have about this in your soul. With the word classroom coming out, some of you may also be in a literal period of training, taking classes, doing some kind of course of study, but this also could be more metaphoric. It could mean that your life up until this point, this physical lifetime has been like a classroom for you. You have been crash course learning something that you are now ready to apply. There is this energy of having been for a long time in this space of waiting. I'm hearing waiting for it to be my turn to shine to show the world something that I am creating or that I want to do of dreaming of envisioning and what your spirit guides want you to know divine feminine is you have called in your time now is your time your star is in the ascendancy is what I'm getting for someone as poetic as that sounds I do want to pull a card for you from the starseed oracle as well longing for home, longing for the stars. For some reason, I'm hearing homeless. So there could be a divine feminine here who literally was homeless at some point in her life, or there could be a divine feminine who is trying to manifest some type of home. But also I get this kind of spiritual homelessness from some divine feminine listening. There is this feeling of displacement this feeling of being like an alien on the earth of not really quite belonging but this is coupled with the card the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts i feel that i'm seeing green eyes for someone by the way for some reason but i feel that for whoever i'm channeling there is this feeling of having this rare quality about you that you may not even be fully aware of. In fact, I feel that because of how you were programmed, you may have been taught to see this rarity, to see these beautiful gifts. There's something about naivety, innocence. There may be a divine feminine here who may have been looked at as gullible or naive by other people because you have this kind of youthful energy about you even though you're a very old soul you i'm hearing you have the ability to see the good in other people and things that other people can't see and i'm getting by the way some of you your guides want you to know they're kind of teasing you that sometimes this gets you into trouble seeing the good in everyone and everything because sometimes I'm hearing empath, there could be an empathic divine feminine who has this ability to see the good in everyone, but at times because of this, you may attract in, I don't want to say negative energies because I don't like to put labels on these types of energies, but you may attract in people who are seeking I heard another channel, I believe it was um, the Feel Good channel that I recently found and have absolutely loved, by the way. You should definitely check him out if you haven't yet. But in one of his recent videos, he said that he didn't think of entities as being demonic so much as they were seeking for something outside of themselves. So when you think of a demon or a negative energy, again, these are labels that we put on these entities, but really 
when we think of something as being dark, it's really just seeking something outside of itself. And I feel that sometimes for you, Divine Feminine, there may be this feeling of because you are so capable of seeing the good in other people and things and actually attracting their good traits and qualities out of them, I'm hearing I want to be better. It's like when you meet people, for some reason I keep specifically seeing masculines, by the way, that you may have attracted into your life that may cause you a lot of confusion because I'm hearing you feel connected to the ones that you are sent to heal because you are a natural healer, but this can lead to some confusion because you are sent to heal them, but they become very attached to you. You are sent to illuminate something, I should say rather within them that they need to heal, to inspire them, to uplift them. But at some level, you always kind of feel as though you are a little bit I don't want to say above them or above other people in a kind of prideful or arrogant sense, but it's as though you are this beacon, this kind of untouchable light that illuminates things, illuminates patterns of darkness in other people and actually brings forth the good in them. But the problem is these other people at times want to attach or latch themselves onto you. And when they do that, they actually dim your lights and you become aware of this and then have to go through this process of severing, of trying to kind of clear your energy from those who come along and again, try to kind of dim or dampen or dim or dampen your light, not intentionally, but simply because again, it's like the ones you are sent to heal or to illuminate or to inspire tend to latch onto you in this kind of artificial way. I don't know who this is for, but for whoever I'm speaking to here, you are a highly, highly empathic being. And because of this, it is so essential for you to really find some tool for energetic hygiene for clearing your energy on a daily basis because again you have a very powerful purpose and mission in fact beyond what you even consciously recognize and realize and because of this because of this you attract in a lot of people a lot of energies and it is essential for you to keep your own aura clear crystalline magnetic for your own desires. I'm hearing that sometimes when these others latch on to you, you may find yourself actually feeling pulled away from your true soul's purpose or path or feeling a bit distracted, unfocused, even indecisive, but know that this isn't your true nature. This is simply because at times living this human experience, it's easy to allow those who latch on to us as impasse to begin to kind of muddy our energy or influence us. So for the purpose of this energetic hygiene, I have created a seven chakra clearing subliminal meditation. This is actually the exact same subliminal that I personally use every single morning because it is a very comprehensive energy clearing tool. It contains about 100 affirmations targeted to each of the seven energy centers in your aura consisting of the energy body. And for those of you who don't know, the way that subliminals work is actually by bypassing the conscious filter of your minds and deeply reprogramming the subconscious mind, which makes subliminals incredibly powerful powerful for energy clearing because it's actually the subconscious mind that is directly reflected in our energy field. So this subliminal comes from my website, soundandsoulful.com. And as you can see on the screen on this website, I've created over 100 subliminals for all areas of life. So yes, of course, some of them are designed specifically for these kinds of energy clearing exercises, but many of them are also designed to reprogram your subconscious to magnetize your energy through the subconscious mind and attract and manifest whatever you desire to create, cultivate, or attract in your physical life, your physical body, within your connections, and so on. 
So you can actually try out any subliminal I've created and even create your own custom private playlists completely free for seven days by creating a free trial account on my site. And all of that information, as well as the link to this seven chakra clearing is in the pinned comments and description box under the video. So as I've been speaking here and sharing that with you, the card man holding a coin or man holding a heart rather in the reverse position came out here as well as a few other cards that flew out so far. They are on the floor. So give me a second to get those. Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness and woman holding a heart in the upright position. Someone here might be seeing the number 444. The word captured came out, someone capturing someone's heart. Also the day Saturday or that day of the week may be significant in this situation for someone, something about Saturday or the weekends. However, what I'm really feeling is that there is for this divine masculine or for this divine feminine rather that we're speaking to a divine masculine counterpart here who has been in some kind of internal struggle, battle, I'm hearing facing his demons. I said that this was a divine masculine, which typically indicates this could be a divine counter partnership or what we sometimes call a twin flame connection. However, this also could equally be a soulmate's connection or relationship. Only you really know for sure. But what I'm getting is that, again, this masculine man holding a heart reversed has been holding back in some way emotionally when it comes to love with you, Divine Feminine, in some way. I'm getting a J name for someone, by the way in some way, and also the sign of Taurus. Sorry, a few things coming out there. This masculine has been withholding his heart in some way in the physical, in the 3D, that has caused pain and confusion for this divine feminine. With door to personal healing and happiness and woman holding a heart upright, what I really feel is that your guides are popping in with this kind of side message, even though most of this reading has been about life path, life purpose. This masculine couldn't help but come through because he's very strong in your energy field right now. And I feel your guides reminding you that you are on at the moment in the 3D, this path of individual healing, growth, evolution, expansion, but that as you continue to live consistently, to exist consistently in that high vibrational state of being, you are, I see these two paths literally intertwining. That is you, Divine Feminine, intertwining in the physical with this Divine Masculine ideal partner for you, whoever that is for you. I'm hearing a life partner. And with woman holding a heart upright, I'm getting that this connection, whatever I'm speaking to here, it seems very essential for you, Divine Feminine, to really be focusing your attention on yourself, on your own healing, on what appears at times to be this individual, although that word really is not energetically accurate in this case because you and this masculine are extremely energetically intertwined, which is what leads me to believe this very well could be a twin flame connection or of course a soulmate connection. Take it as it resonates. But as you continue this journey of self-love, focusing on yourself, growing, expanding, evolving, and most of all with woman holding a heart upright, taking back your heart fully, taking back your power, I'm hearing remain centered, remain stabilized within your self-divine feminine. I see this continuing to intertwine your path behind the scenes in the unconscious energetic realms with this masculine life partner. Again, regardless of whether this is a twin flame or a high level romantic soulmates. And I want to see if I can get more information. Yeah, fourth chakra in the reverse position. Something has definitely felt blocked or closed off in love between the two of you recently is what I'm picking up on. Why have things felt blocked or closed off here? Appreciation in the upright position. The words pleasure and city came out here. So there could have been a divine masculine or a masculine here who didn't have his priorities straight in the physical and the 3D and was really focused 
for a while on very, I'm hearing, I'm getting a very like present focused energy from this masculine meaning he could have been someone who partied a lot, who used substances, or who was really focused on material things, on surface level things. I'm hearing simple pleasures. I don't know who this is for. I know this won't be for everyone, so only take what connects. But I feel like this masculine caused a feminine here, you divine feminine, to feel underappreciated. And so what created this disconnect is you no longer were choosing to participate in this unbalanced exchange in the physical with this masculine. You pulled back and began with appreciation uprights, appreciating yourself. Now this could be metaphoric or literal, but there's something about buying yourself flowers. Your guides may be telling you to buy yourself flowers, or this may be again metaphoric. This could mean it's like, you wanted metaphorically this masculine to be the one to bring you flowers, to give you what you need. But actually on the soul level, he was teaching you and really your guides were urging you to be the one to buy yourself flowers, to shower yourself with the adoration that you have always deserved. Wow. Very, very powerful messages coming through here. So I want to reshuffle the cards and see if we can get a few final messages here from this masculine counterparts. Now, because divine feminine, you are being so guided to really focusing in on yourself and stepping into that, what we think of as the awakened, fully embodied divine feminine energy, which by the way, does make you magnetic for those ideal masculine life partners, high vibrational soulmates, twin flame situations, etc. But because of this, in addition to the seven chakra energy clearing I mentioned earlier, I will also be leaving a link to another subliminal I would recommend for you to explore. And this is my awakened divine feminine subliminal. This will really help you to deeply reprogram your subconscious mind around your worthiness when it comes to manifestation, to success, to passion, to love. And this will really help you to magnify your energy field. Yes, to attract more love and positive attention and fulfilling connections into your life, but also to attract fulfillments and to manifest your desires in other areas of your life as well. So again, the links to both the seven chakra clearing and the awakened divine feminine subliminals are in the pinned comment and description, and you can try out either of them when you create a free trial account on my website. But I want to go ahead and close here with a final message for this divine feminine, whoever I'm speaking to here, what does this divine feminine need to know at this time? We the Hathers, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal and it feels right to close this reading with a guidebook message here so the guidebook says birth is a portal that ushers in new life the hathers are here to remind you that you're a child of the cosmic mother and you're being called to be held by her deep never-ending love and embrace this is a card of extreme potency of femininity, of creation, and of birth. You're being called to mother yourself and others too, to surrender to your sacred femininity, to create and surrender to your own creations, to hold and be held. You're being called to remember your place in the web of life and to realize that the Cosmic Mother is watching you every step of the way. You may be going through a transition right now, moving from one way of being to another. If so, you're being reminded that you're cradled in a sacred container, that you're more held than you can possibly imagine, and you have access to more love than your hearts can bear. If you're struggling in any way, you're being reassured that things will work out. Open yourself to receiving this overflowing love. Let it stretch your hearts. 
Wow. Thank you so much to all of you beautiful beings who are here and present because you are the ones who truly manifest these messages through these readings, through sharing your beautiful energy here. And I can't tell you how grateful I am for this truly lovely high vibrational community we are building here on YouTube. If you do want to be part of that, I do hope you will take the chance and opportunity to subscribe. Otherwise, the links to the subliminals I mentioned in this reading, which of course are the seven chakra clearing and the awakened divine feminine are in the pinned comments and description box. Have a beautiful, aligned, wonderful rest of your day, and I will talk to you again in the next reading.